After a week in Guadalajara working remotely, your girl was out of office and hopped on the Jose Cuervo Express, aka the tequila train. Being a solo female traveler, one of the tips or advice you often hear is to not drink a lot while you're traveling solo or to be weary of befriending new people, let alone drinking with the new people you met. But over time, I think solo travel teaches you that not everyone is out to get you. And on the Jose Cuervo Express, I experienced that firsthand, all while vlogging, trying to have my tequila fun, but also being a responsible solo traveler to make sure I made it to my Tequila Bear Hotel that night instead of going back to Guadalajara all while experiencing all the cool activities the tequila train had to offer. It was not easy and maybe one day I'll release the uncut clips of this trip, but until then, sit back, relax, and maybe grab your own tequila as we take the Jose Cuervo Express. Hello, we have made it to the Jose Cuervo Express, which you can see behind me. I am so, so excited to be finally taking this train ride. I heard about it a few years ago and I was always like when I go back to Mexico and go to Guadalajara I absolutely have to take this train to tequila and today it is finally going to happen. I am doing this solo though so I do not know anyone on this train and I'm also going to be drinking at like 9 o'clock in the morning with a bunch of strangers. So. We're going to see how this goes. Everything was super smooth to check in. You do have to make sure that you have the card that you use to buy the ticket with you, or they may make you buy another ticket. I am staying in tequila afterwards in a tequila barrel hotel. So I'm super pumped for that. So I did bring my bag, but luckily they do have a system. You do tag your bags. And if you do want to stay overnight in tequila and not take the bus ride back after being in tequila all day, that is an option you can do. And that's what I opted to do. So they're going to come get our bags. I don't have to worry about them until the end of the experience, which is super nice and very, very convenient for me as a solo traveler. So I do not want to carry all of my stuff but I am super pumped for this train ride. We're all waiting. I got here like eight o'clock in the morning. They recommend getting here at least 30 minutes beforehand and the train leaves promptly at like 8 45, nine. So you want to get here early, get in line because people will be here immediately. Uh, you can't drive. So you want to take an Uber or something because they don't really have parking here. But aside from that, it's been super smooth. We're all just taking photos and videos which is really fun to see everybody super pumped to take the train ride and I am happy as well. Also, I did want to add that I booked the Elite, which is like the first class of all the first classes that you can book on this train. They do have four different options. They have Express, Premium, Diamond, and Elite. Obviously at different price points, I chose the most expensive option and y'all know I had to because I wanted to see the full experience so i am super super excited to be on the elite part of the train i think we're going to be boarding pretty soon but they do have different price points obviously within your budget book whichever one is best for you and yes let's go enjoy the train hola hola va con ocho si sí. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Primer tequila, tenemos que necesitar el corazón de nuestro 
Hay que tapar nuestra copa. Ya lo pueden ver un poquito la grave. Like hand sanitizer a little bit, but you're on to the reposado. It is darker, obviously, it is yellow. Okay, the music is kind of loud, so I hope you can hear me. But we finished all the three like tastings, I did do all three. We'll see how I feel later, but I had three shots of tequila, and now we have also a mixed drink. I'm gonna need some food real fast, because I'm about to feel this real quick, but that is the end of the tequila tasting, and it was really good. I had a lot of fun. They make it a lot of fun. The people on the train are a lot of fun, so I'm gonna just sit back, relax, and enjoy the vibes. six shots already and it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning but they're singing so I mean the vibes are here <sighs> I am just preparing myself for the rest of the day because we have things planned until like 6 p.m. so I don't know if there's more drinks I don't really know like, I've heard there's more drinks but your girl is definitely tipsy at this point can't complain this will be a great girl's trip so if you see a Sojourney's trip to Guadalajara, just know we're going to get on this train. <laughs> it's so great. The vibes are great. People love it. We're all tipsy or drunk at this point. So I'm very excited. They also gave us water. Woo! All right, we're getting off now. Here we go. <laughs> Gracias. All right, I didn't really feel the tequila before, but baby, when I'm walking, I absolutely feel it now, my gosh. And I'm walking on rocks and platforms. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to tequila and I think they have a few things planned for us to like learn about tequila and how it's made, but we also have some free time. So I'm very excited for that too. And it says that we can't have selfie sticks or take photos or videos with flash. So we'll see how much I'll get in here. Once we got off the train, our train attendant turned into a guide and gave us a tour of the museum honoring both Mexican and tequila history, as well as a tour of the facilities. This is a group experience, so you want to stay with your guide as well as the people who were on your train car. It was really informative. I chose to do the tour in Spanish, but you can also do the tour in English. We also got to see part of the tequila making process and learn about Jose Cuervo. I will admit as a self-proclaimed tequila girl I am not the biggest Jose Cuervo fan. I prefer other tequilas however it wasn't too bad tasting it on the train and I did enjoy learning more about its origin history and process in Mexico. By the end of the tour, I befriended Esme, a fellow social worker who invited me into her friend group for our afternoon exploring tequila. And let's just say this is where the shenanigans really began. So enjoy. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> You're getting 15 shots. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is Esme. She recruited me to be part of her group because we're both social we workers, yes. which is social so Social workers cute. and then social twerkers. <laughs> <laughs> I am very tipsy again. We're still trying to find, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> we're still trying to find a place to eat, but I need food immediately. Like very, very soon because I need to eat ASAP. <laughs> gracias. <laughs> Ah. Okay, me and Esme <laughs> refilled our cups. Yes, we sure did. Let's see where yes. that takes us. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I met her because it's rare to meet other travelers, but also like solo travelers who are also social workers. I mean, hey. she with her man, but. Social worker, babe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been so fun and now we're gonna go get tacos because we're all very very hungry but now we have our refills so we're all okay. good <laughs> After getting full at lunch and leaving my newfound friend group, I headed back to the center of tequila to enjoy the rest of the tour activities. This included a dance, a musical performance, a bus ride to the agave fields to learn more about its importance in the tequila process, and of course, a few more drinks and finger foods to round out the day. I was sufficiently tired and full of tequila by this time, which was perfect as the day ended, my guide found me and I was preparing to leave to head to the Tequila Barrel Hotel, very much ready to Jose sleep. the Cuervo Express train experience. We are in Tequila. My kind of coach attendant, I guess, or car attendant called an Uber for me. So I am waiting for my Uber now. But this was a very fun experience. Even being a solo traveler, I got to meet some really cool people. And plus a social worker at that who took me under her wing. So shout out to Esme and all of her friends and her partner Manny for hanging out with me and letting me join their crew for a little bit. I had so, so, so much fun. But now your girl is tired. If you can't see, these eyes are getting very, very close and the tequila has hit a few times so it's time for me to relax get in this uber and head to my tequila barrel hotel i'm very excited for that but i'm also more excited to lie down in a bed very very soon good morning look who survived the tequila train oh my gosh it has been a whirlwind of the past what 24 48 hours if you can't tell i am living my best traveling rich auntie dreams right now i stayed in a tequila barrel last night if you can see it behind me this is one this one is mine but i stayed in a tequila barrel last night and this was such a cool experience. I wish I had more time here. I'm actually headed back um, to the airport because I'm going back to Guadalajara to fly out to my last city on this little two week workation solo female travel adventure to Oaxaca. But if you are thinking about doing the Jose Corvo Express or staying in this Tequila Barra Hotel, here are some things you need to know. So as a solo female traveler, obviously doing experiences where you'll be drinking is a bit of a risk so i will say that i probably should have prefaced this video with that but <laughs> it is kind of risky because you are drinking and you are alone however 
As y'all saw, I found a really cool group of folks to hang out with, which I think made my experience so much better. As someone who does a lot of solo travel, this actually did feel like a thing I probably should have done with friends, even though I don't believe in waiting for friends all the time. But if you are a solo traveler, just be aware of your surroundings. Even though I was drinking, I also made sure I was eating. And the tour does a really good job of getting you water and food throughout your experience. So I would say just bring some snacks too if you get a bit hungrier. But I also bought some chips throughout the day. We did get food throughout the day. So it didn't feel like I was just constantly drinking or like binge drinking with no food or anything like that. So I love that about the train ride. The staff on the train who accompanied us throughout the entire day was super helpful. She was the one who actually helped me get my taxi or a car service to come to the hotel last night since I was not taking the bus back to Guadalajara. So, <clears throat> my voice went out. That's how much yelling and laughing and stuff I was doing yesterday. But yeah, she was the one who helped me arrange my car service, which was super helpful. Oh, it's a cat. But I would say make sure you kind of have that ready. I did like that they held my bags for the entire day, which I think is a plus. You don't have to carry all your stuff throughout the entire experience, but you do have to make sure you are back to watch the show so that you can go and enjoy the rest of the evening, go into the agave fields and all that kind of stuff at the end of the experience. So I loved it. I think it was worth the money. I'll put how much I paid somewhere in the video because I did have the elite experience so that's like the most expensive one you can have but I will put the prices of the other experiences you can do in the video so yes this has been such a lovely lovely time I'm gonna finish getting ready so we can get some breakfast pack up our stuff and get up out of here Yesterday, I definitely need to hydrate. Mm. Ooh, it's fresh too. I am a thirsty girl. I also got some tea because I need all different kinds of liquids. I literally have three liquids and I make fun of my friends for having three liquids, but I need something other than tequila in my system after yesterday. I got some chamomile tea. I ordered pancakes because I really want something heavy, <laughs> especially because I'll be going back to Guadalajara today. One thing I find super funny about going to places like this is that how many things are assumed for two people. Like, <laughs> I sat down to eat and she was like, oh, are we waiting for somebody else? I'm like, no, it's just me. And people, I don't think they mean any like harm or don't even realize that when you say it's just you, like the look of surprise on their faces so it's very funny to me because it happens so much now but yeah there's been so many times on this trip where people have just like been steadily shocked or surprised that i'm doing all these things by myself but i've built a lot of confidence <laughs> doing stuff like this solo just because I don't think we have to, or we should wait for other people to do the thing we wanna do. Granted, I do think there's something you can do with a significant other or like with some friends, but like you don't have to if you don't want to. And I feel like so many people miss out on so many things because we're taught that you have to do stuff with people all the time. Like I don't believe in waiting for other people to do every little thing. Though I will say, I do think this would be a perfect girls trip and I honestly would love to plan one to come here because it definitely gives girls trip vibes. Those who don't know, I love pancakes. They're my favorite food. So I always have to try them in every city I visit. I don't care what they're known for, I'm gonna try their pancakes. Mm-mm. <laughs> she asked me, did I want anything else? I'm like, no girl, mm-mm. I'm good. It's funny, I used to be afraid to do things solo. Now I solo travel, I go out to eat solo, and I'm recording myself solo in public, and folks are definitely starting to stare. But you know what? I love it. 
Taking the tequila train had been on my bucket list for so many years and once I was full of pancakes and mini liquids, it was time for me to leave the beautiful Tequila Bear Hotel and honestly, it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever done. I would love to come back and stay for longer, but for now, it was time to say goodbye to my unique accommodations and head out, head back to Guadalajara for the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay curious.